take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. In a surprise, but no surprise, we finally learn who the power broker is, and it's agent Sharon Carter. She's been the one pulling the strings behind the scenes, and getting into the Flag Smasher's ears specifically when it comes to the superhero serum. Make your mark, take our lead. Her involvement in helping Rogers would cause Carter to go on the run after being branded an enemy of the state by the U.S. government. Carter established herself in Madripoor as its secretive ruler, the power broker, while amassing some wealth as a dealer in stolen artwork. Let's help you make your mark. While there are more than a few people who think that Simo has a larger plan in mind as he was a villain in the comics, it seems like, for the most part, he has helped aid Sam and Bucky in their goals. But the tide may be turning, and he might become a third antagonist on the show in full. Make your mark, take our lead. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier finally unmask the power broker and, gasp. It's none other than Sharon Carter. Fans have suspected this for weeks, but it's still pretty cool to see a woman revealed as the master villain, given Marvel's poor history with both female characters and antagonists. Make your mark, take our lead. The Strategic Scientific Reserve Premise The first season takes place in 1946, with Peggy Carter having to balance the routine office work she does for the Strategic Scientific Reserve SSR, in New York City with secretly assisting Howard Stark, who finds himself framed for supplying deadly weapons to enemies of the United States. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.